lashes we're going to use today. First we're going to measure the lashes. I want to see how well it fits in my eye. So it's a little long, I'm going to cut this piece out. I'm just going to apply my lash glue. And I like to apply a little bit more on the corners. I'm going to let this sit for about 30 to 40 seconds just so it's really tacky. If you put it on right away and it's still runny, then your lashes will move all over the place. You're going to get glue all over. So to prevent that, just give it a little bit. You're going to want to grab your compact mirror and make sure you bring it down at your face so that you're looking down. I like to kind of bend my lashes like this so that way it kind of creates a good curve so that it could fit in my eye perfectly. I'm going to place it right in the middle and then I like to make sure that the ends are nice and secure. I'm going to take the end of a brush push in the falsies and you're placing your falsies above the lashes not on them just in case like me I just want to make sure that no white is going to show so I'm just grabbing a little bit of gel liner or you can take um, liquid eyeliner too and just set it right on top now to blend your real lashes with your false ones I like to add some mascara. And once the mascara has set, take your eyelash curler and gently, gently blend them together. I'm gonna quickly do my other eye. I'm just gonna pull off my lashes. So a few quick tips about false lashes. I know a lot of companies, they will have the false, they'll have some adhesive that comes with the lashes, like I know e.l.f. does it, um, NYX does it, but to be honest, I would not rely on those glues. If you want your lashes to stay on all day, all night, I highly recommend just going for some like duo adhesive. I highly recommend this. I've tried Ardell's lash adhesive and that really worked well too. So go out, spend like six bucks and buy one. And you're taking your lashes off and it's at the end of the day, what I used to do is I used to just yank it off and I'd be like, ow, 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 and then it's pulling my lid. You don't want to do that because for one, you're likely to have some of your natural lashes get pulled out and also, you're pulling your skin so the eye area could get sad. What I would recommend doing is grab a cotton ball, apply some um, eye makeup remover, and just gently rub it in your lashes and then your lashes will pop right off. Lashes like these I would reuse up to five times. What I like to do is just stick it in like I have this lash drawer where I'll put it in. Don't keep it out. Just have it lying around your desk because the dust will accumulate and land on it and then once you put it back in your eye, the dust is going to get in your eye and that's not cute. Okay, and the lashes that I use today are the Model 21. These are in 3M28. I received these ones from Model21Eyelashes.com. Huge thank you for sending a bunch of lashes to me. They sent me quite a few so what I'm going to do is do a little giveaway on my Facebook. I will post a little link. Um, of this video or something on my Facebook. Just and comment on my Facebook post. And for all those that comment, I will randomly choose three winners in one set you get 10 pairs. So I'll include the link down below. You guys check out model21eyelashes.com. They have some fun eyelashes to choose from and they're super, super inexpensive. Like I'm telling you, I kind of calculated how much it would be if I were to get one box of eyelashes and then pay for shipment, it's under $10. It's insane how cheap it is. The reason why it's so cheap is because they're shipping it out from California, so it's really close. I know a lot of eBay eyelash stores are from China and the shipping costs may be double the price, so really inexpensive. I hope this video was kind of helpful for you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.